I, I, no, no one is advocating for that, and everyone on the council since I've been on has been, we've been trying like heck to get affordable housing, or it, all housing. But if I, I was not happy when I read the gloating in the Globe article uh, about how the, I think it's seven or eight communities, um, you know, they're, they're, they're almost laughing, say, aha, we, we, we're gonna force these communities to do that. My first thought was, okay, um, we'll give you the 800 people, the 800 units that, you, that you're housing, we'll just give them back, we'll comply with, with you, you know, we'll lower our number, and then you go ahead and put them in the communities that don't have them. And I don't, I don't, I don't think it's funny or a joke to, to compare people to property or something like that. I know we, we wouldn't do that, but I, I think the, th there's an argument that can be made, the, just the sweet irony of um, if we eliminated all the ho housing authorities, because we have three major, three major, one, one of them's in my ward, and the, the thing that um, really kicks me in the, in the pants is right outside that half mile mark in my ward, the Zoning Board of Authority used the closeness of the, the Carter Street Station as a reason to allow a six-story building in, in, in a small residential uh, uh, neighborhood right across the street mm -hmm. from, from, from a housing authority. Mm -hmm. And so, and they said people are gonna walk through. That was part of the reasoning the Zoning Board of, uh, of Appeals used to justify a six-story building. I'm not talking. The, the Merck at 1 Moody Street is five stories, and they allowed this two blocks away in a, in a residential neighborhood. So I, I support housing. I've, I've always supported it. Whatever we can do, uh, I sit on the, zone, uh, the master plan committee. I know we're talking about getting a, a zoning expert, but it's really, it's really scary and, and counter, um, counterintuitive and counterproductive because if, if they really are going to leave us on our own, I... I, 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 I uh, I support what the council president says. I'd, I'd love to go in front of an arbitrary board and say, hey, you know what, we get rid of these, we get rid of all the, the hundreds and hundreds of housing authority units that will lower our requirement, so we'll have fewer than 3982 to provide, and you, the state, will now have to find housing for all these people, uh, and, we'll, you know, and that way we'll sa also save money because we're not gonna be subsidizing your, your units. Um, I, I'm, I'm of the, the support and liking of what the council president said that that, um, and especially because of that article with the gloating that the state did, Waltham has always done more than their fair share than surrounding communities. Mm -hmm. When it comes to social services, uh, uh, it, housing, uh, the, how, the vouchers uh, that, we, that we do, that we weren't forced to do, we did it out of the goodness of our hearts. I think the community and the, and the state should realize, um, you know, if push wants to come to shove, I, I, I'm willing to back the council president's um, you know, level of, of legal action, say, hey, you know, you, you deal with it.